Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will talk about self-referential structures in C programming language. In the previous tutorials, we have learned that in a structure, we can have the variables of a structure type as a member. And also we have seen that we can have the structure pointers as the structure member. In this tutorial, we will talk about self-referential structure. Now, before getting started with this uh, video, if you look at this program, then I have included the stdio.h header file and then we have the main function which is the entry point of our program from our perspective and then we have defined a structure called as a chapter and in this structure we will store the information of the chapters of a book. For example, we will have the chapter name and then we will have how many number of pages are there for that chapter. Now in the previous tutorial, we have seen that if you want, we can declare the variable of a structure type as the member of this structure. For example, if we have another structure, let us say struct author and here's let us have name, just one field. Now. If we want, we can define the variable of this author structure type as the member of this chapter structure. For example, I can write struct author, then I'm going to say author details. This is perfectly valid. Here this author details is a variable of this structure type author. Now the question is while defining a structure, can we have a variable of the own structure type as the member of that structure, which is nothing but in this program, can we have a variable of this chapter structure type as its member struct chapter, let us say next chapter. For example, here, let us say we want to store the detail of the next chapter. In C programming language, this is not allowed and that's because when we're defining the structure, if we try to declare the variable of that one structure type as the member, then the type here, which is the same structure is an incomplete type. It is not completed. So that's why the C programming language will generate the error because we are defining this structure at the moment and it is not complete yet. Now, if I save this program and if I run this code, then you guys can see we get the error and it says that next chapter has incomplete type. That is this type, which is of struct chapter is not complete. It is incomplete. So we can't declare a variable of one structure type as the member of that structure. But what we can do is we can declare a pointer of the one structure type as the member of that structure. That is here, instead of having the structure variable of the same type, we can have a structure pointer because in pointers, we only store the memory address. So now if I change this one to a structure pointer and if I try to run this program, nothing will happen, but it will not generate the error because it is valid here. If you look at this program now, then we have a structure which has a structure pointer as a member and it is of the same structure type and we call it as a self-referential structure, which is nothing but a structure having one or more structure pointers of its own type. So here we call it as self-referential structure. Now, what is the advantage of having this? Let us uh, talk about that. Now, what is the advantage of this? By using this self-referential structure, we can chain the information. We can connect information which should be connected. And by using this, we can create the data structures like linked list, etc. You will learn more about that later in this video series. Here, now let us see how we can uh, create a variable of this chapter structure type and how we can assign the values and how we can use it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, define some variables of this chapter structure type and I'm going to initialize these variables while uh, you know declaring them. So I'm going to say the variable name is chapter one. I'm going to call it as CH1 and the title will be welcome to programming 
and let us say we have 45 pages in that chapter and currently we don't know about the next chapter so for that next chapter pointer we will provide the null value okay similarly let us declare two more variables i'm gonna say ch2 and here i'm gonna say uh, you can't learn programming in 30 minutes and then i'm gonna say we have 15 pages in the chapter and then we will have another chapter and let us say ch3 and for this we will say welcome to coding as the chapter name or the chapter title and we will say it has 78 pages and we don't know about the next chapter at the moment so now uh, let's quickly use a printf function and uh, print out the values so to print out the values i'm going to use a structure pointer i'm going to say struct chapter and i'm going to call this pointer as c and i'm going to initialize this pointer with the address of the ch1 variable that is the address of the first structure variable and then we will use this uh, structure pointer and we will display the uh, details of that uh, structure variable it is uh, pointing to so i'm going to use the printf function in here and here i'm going to say title colon percentage yes and then i'm going to add a new line and then i'm going to say number of pages colon percentage d then i'm going to insert two new lines and then we will display the values using this structure pointer c so we will use the arrow operator and we will say name and then we will use the arrow operator and we will say number of pages so here we are just creating a structure pointer and using it if you don't know about this then uh, you can watch my tutorials about uh, creating and using the structure pointers now here if i save this program and if i run this code then we get some warnings and this is for not using the variables that we have defined for example we have defined the structure variables ch2 and ch3 but we haven't really used them in our program so the c compiler is generating the warning and after that if you look at here then it says title is welcome to programming and number of pages is 45 and that message came from this printf statement and it is displaying the uh, details of the first chapter ch1 variable now what we can do here because of this self-referential pointer is we can link these chapters together so we can link the information that uh, needs to be uh, together to do that what i can do here is i can store the address of the ch2 structure variable in the next chapter pointer of the ch1 structure variable so i can write ch1 dot next chapter is equal to address of ch2 so the first chapter is linked to the next chapter and similarly i can write ch2 dot next chapter is equal to address of third chapter now here all these chapters are linked so if i run this program now nothing special will happen it will just display title and uh, number of pages for this uh, chapter one now what we can do is we can start at one chapter and we can keep on going to the last chapter so to demonstrate that uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a while loop in here after this one after this uh, statement and this while loop will run as long as this c pointer is containing the address of a structure variable as long as c is not equal to null what we want to do we want to display the title and the number of pages and after displaying the title and number of pages present in a chapter what we do is we will make this c to point to the next chapter and we know that we can get the next chapter by using the memory address which is present in the next chapter pointer so we can write c arrow operator next chapter 
it will provide us the address of the structure variable containing the detail of the next chapter and what we do is we will store that back in this pointer c so for every iteration of this while loop it will point to the next chapter and the printf function that we have used here will display the details of that chapter so when it encounters the last chapter at that time the next chapter pointer will contain null value so this condition will fail and the while loop will terminate now if i save this program and if i run this code then you guys can see we get title welcome to programming number of pages 45 and after that title you can't learn programming in 30 minutes number of pages 15 and after that title welcome to coding number of pages 78 so what we have done here is we have connected information you will learn more about this self-referential structure or you will use more of this when you try to implement linked lists and this is it for this tutorial you know this is how we can uh, create and use a self-referential structure in c programming language if you like the video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video